There's Kristen. Um, oh, sorry, Colin. No, you, you, you go. Okay. Yeah, uh, Kristen, this um, uh, last verse is the one that actually becomes very problematic because the coming in by grace, as you have just explained, that mm -hmm. that's quite understandable. Yeah. Because we come in without the law, we are not expected to be yeah. special. But when we get in, obviously, there is that any man who is in Christ is a new creation. Yeah. And I even kind of just like your uh, testimony there about wearing and dressing, I remembered we used to go to this um, uh, hotel at Windsor for our Christmas parties where we would wear the tunic, the Irish tunic with right. all that Celtic and all that. So everybody would be given one to wear and we would have that big mug and use it for hammering on the table when somebody speaks and so. So we adapt to the <laughs> Irish culture while yeah. we are in there. Kind of understandable that when we come in, we have to adapt to this culture. Yeah. The question here is that choice. The question is, can we be chosen or not chosen while we are in? Yeah. So I so I think the um I think the as I say, that there are a number of Greek words which, and this is my you know, my my theological bias in the mix is I think that we have packed certain words. Um, so the the, the 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 use of the word choice, eklektos in the in the Greek, um, is used in multiple situations, and and I, I think it's impossible to force it to mean one thing in every place it's used in the New Testament. Um, and the, the word itself has multiple meanings, and the reason why I put but few are choice is I think the one that fits the most is the sense of um, I saw one person said it's. Um, um you, you, when the, you know the english word metal not not as in metal is in in iron but is in you know someone's got metal what they mean is it's a character quality it's and or the way that it's the thing that means that you get that something gets chosen so it's it, it the that um part of the way that the greek word is used is not so much that i you know there are lots of mugs sitting on the on the shelf and i chose this one it's actually that this one is is a choice mug. So we're every regularly when I come, I want to choose this one. See, so the, the Greek word can mean that. It, so it's not that it's because I picked it, it was a good one. It's because there's something about it that makes me want to pick it, you see. So so what I'm I think because of the, the word can kind of work in those different ways, we often find that that when we read the word in in the in the Greek gospels we have to try and work out exactly how it's being used so i'm i i'm translating it that way to say it shows something about why that exhibits why it is in this context is why is it that you'd want to to get that one <laughs> um and that that's what i mean that that's if you like there's something in my response by faith to what god has done that is transformative you know, which is what I think is drive, which is what James is driving at when he says, "I'll show you Abraham by his, I'll show you Abraham's faith by his works." He's not saying that Abraham's faith was based on his works. He's saying you can see that his faith was real because of the way it changed him. Um, you know, and that that's so so um, so I think that as I say that the that the word has been given special status, which is why I'm similar I'm saying with the. The word pro erizo, which we translate as predestined, um, and is actually recognised in 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 one of the um, one of the, the dictionaries it's, um, of, of New Testament words, where it actually says this, it has a meaning in the Bible that isn't the same as it's used in normal Greek language. Now, I'm always suspicious of that because I think the words we read in the Bible we should interpret according to their normal use, um, but actually um, the word predestined has now taken on a new theological meaning, which is not the way it was used in general conversation. So um, I've touched on this in other kind of contexts. It's pro means heading towards an orizo, from which we get the word horizon. It's towards a marker. So there's a standard being set and I'm heading towards that marker. Whereas we've now kind of actually turned it into something whereby 
there's a, a destination has been set for us <laughs> um, before anything has happened. So, so I I think that the average you the the normal use of the word makes makes passages that use the word predestined very simple to understand for those for he because in one sense god has predestined everybody to be conformed to the image of his son but within that he's also called some this is romans 8 isn't it you know those he predestined he also called well he's also said come on you're you're supposed you're supposed to be israel and i've given you the doctrines and now you're called and then are you going to be choice are you are you going to express that by responding in faith to the calling that you've had as israel which was built on the on the on the on the horizon the, the predestination the horizon i set before you right at the beginning to be conformed and then within that are you going to again be glorified which is all part of that phrase it's all kind of like there is a challenge to growth <laughs> it's always by it's always if you like by faith in response to god's god's saving work <laughs> Um, that kind of takes us in takes us in takes us in um so i'm just trying to work out where i finish well I, just, <laughs> I, I don't know if that's i'm being helpful in responding so i think it, I, I, I but it's also partly why i said it, it is complicated because we're actually kind of told in scripture that we're not we're not going to be good at actually trying to determine exactly who's who's made it and who hasn't you know <laughs> Did you just go along with it because everybody was doing it that way and it was easy for you because you were brought up in a middle class home and you didn't you were taught not to lie as a child? Or is your is the fact that you're now telling the truth because of the fruit of the faith that you have in in Jesus? But actually you were brought up in an environment where it was easy to lie. So God's changed something in you. It's very difficult for us to really be sure on those things, which is why we're told not to try and do it. But but from the inside, I need to be conscious of two options. One is I I don't want to be missing the opportunities the Lord's giving me, um, and neither do I want to be wasting the opportunities giving me. So I don't if I, I don't want to take them and and treat them dishonorably. So that so for while I can't give you a, a big broad, here's how we know people are saved or not saved. I can say how I should respond in in heart heart wise. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to dishonor the grace is given me by just saying well you know i'm saved by faith so i'm going to smoke drink sleep around do whatever i like cheat on my tax returns and all of those sorts of things which you know as paul paul talks about we know it was a common thing uh, don't let sin that grace may abound and we still have it today where people say oh don't be so religious jesus doesn't mind you know <laughs> um i i think i i, I take on board the two the two sides you know <laughs> Um, I don't want to be so proud that, well, I'm saved, whatever, so I don't need to bother doing that. Or actually, God's grace is so amazing that I'm saved, so it doesn't really matter whether I improve or not. Both of those are, are false false heart approaches. <laughs> um, so I, I'll hear it that way. Hopefully that's sort of made sense, yeah. Joseph. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah I, th I think yeah, what you said has been, been very helpful because... Um, you sometimes hear the words, you know, acceptance and inclusivity better, you know, yeah. need around. And um, but from what you've said, I've, I've yes, you are you're accepted, but you're accepted in, into a process of change. You're not just accepted just to sit there and be the same. You're accepted on exactly. the kingdom that that will be growing within you. You know. So, so I, I think kingdom. that's a that's a really you know I really like that little phrase. Um, Colin so <laughs> accepted into a process of change you know so so it's we you know um, Joseph may have been there when we had um we had a one of our contacts in church from Vietnam Kim came and spoke and she she talked about you know that actually look, their experience in Vietnam she was saying you know it's easy for people to get saved she said, you know and um, she said but then we recognize that there's an um if you want to be my disciple then if you um, if you are my disciple, then you'll take up your cross and follow me. And that's actually a bit more of a transformational process. It's a harder process. Um, and so, you know, we can have an awful lot of people come into the thing. It's not our job to, to, to fully to judge whether they were appropriate or not in the transformation that's happened. But but we're called to try and make disciples. We want to encourage people through the process of change. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, the, the, that's why I think in the question that's put 
to the, the guest without clothes, it's not an instant judgment. There's a question. There is an opportunity for him to say, this is the best I've got. Mm -hmm. um, these may look like rubbishy clothes to you, which is what I was trying to get across with my story. This is actually my best suit. <laughs> it may not be quite as good as all of the other people from, from this family <laughs> who have turned up, but this is my best suit. <laughs> um, you know, there's always that opportunity. It's there in the question. It's not assumed at the front, but but actually he gives no response. Well, you know, I don't really need to, do I? Because it's all free. It's a free mm -hmm. event. That kind of heart attitude. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like the, the phrase, Colin. It's that, that uh, mm -hmm. it takes you to a process there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that was really helpful. Thank you. Um, yes, I think the words that come to my mind are, are sort of um, uh, honouring, you know, honouring what God's done rather than an entitlement attitude where, uh, as you say, you know, I've got it all anyway, so I don't need to no respond uh, and i think there's gratitude in with that isn't there gratitude in with um, yeah honoring, that, you know? actually that that that's one of the 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 the, the fruits that you actually see i think um mm. i'm, I'm going to sp speak personally here is when i'm conscious of the fact that jesus when he sets very high standards you know let your yes be yes your no be no you know you're caught you don't quite you don't quite live up to that honesty standard and you realize it and you know it for yourself I'm actually extremely grateful for the grace that means it wasn't because I kept it that that's how come I got invited in but yes. actually that real gratitude is part of actually wanting it to be better next time yes <laughs> um so I'm <clears throat> so I'm I'm uh it's it's not that that one sin and we're suddenly lost our salvation but actually there's something about even uh, you know the gratitude we have for the fact that when I fail I can get up again and try a second time or a third time, a fourth time, mm -hmm. a fourth time. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, but, but I want to be careful in my own heart that I don't just become blase about it. Goes well, it doesn't really matter. Jesus, don't worry about that. So. Yeah. So. That's good. Good, good, good. I, I think will it? It will always be one of the struggling issues when you're really dealing with real people in real church. <laughs> Is that that balance of 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 the um you know i i think and, and the, the reason i'm i'm quite fond of um james's letter <laughs> is because he he kind of he drew he he he's the one letter he's the he's the exception within the, the general flow but very often that's the best way when when um when you when i do the sort of psychological development of folks one of the things you recognize is that um uh, if you have if if you remove all negative motivation this is just an interesting thing um people don't act on it um but if there's too much then they get depressed <laughs> so you know you kind of need for, for you know for for your eight or nine kind of compliments you do need to have the warning <laughs> is the is the summation and we seem to be made that way so i'm kind of therefore grateful that we that the majority of stuff is we focus on the grace the grace the grace the grace but but don't forget that grace ought to produce some actions in you. And you can call those works if you want to be legalistic about it, but it, but they're not because we're not telling you exactly what it should be, but it ought to be something. <laughs> yes. You know, that kind of a... Yes, it's not spelt out what they should be, but it is a response again it is a response. It, to the grace of God. That's right. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So, so, mm. I, so I think it's a very real kind of ongoing debate that you have to kind of continue to work with and at the moment we tend to be in a, we seem to be in a wave in the west where 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 grace is so important that that nothing else matters if that makes sense mm. um, and and i can feel guilty with some people when i say yes but because <laughs> it sounds so good you know god's love is so big so enormous how are you to be so miserable with your kind of little warnings and your whatever <laughs> Um, you know, um, how could you believe that a good God would actually, he would understand totally. Well, I say, yeah, I don't think he does understand. He certainly understood with me. It doesn't mean to say I'm throwing away my 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 requirement to respond. <laughs> mm. For faith to be genuinely, genuinely encompass things like the gratitude and so on. So but anyway, there we go. That's getting on my hobby horse now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because okay, I've, I've i've heard you know about the emphasis on being positive and stuff and i've always had a little bit of an uneasiness i mean obviously you want to be positive i guess most of the time but but sometimes you need that sort of as you say warning and so on yeah 
Yeah. So yes, in scripture, you seem to get often at, at both, don't you? You do, don't yeah, do so. this. <laughs> don't to, don't walk according to the flesh and do this, that, and the other. But these are the fruits of the spirit. It's spelled out, isn't it? Both ways. It's not just do one. Oh, you know. So I so I take I, it's an interesting thing. I, I remember seeing a guy. Um, he's a, he's a, he's a, he has some level of Christian faith. I'm because he says in his he talks about that in his book. But he was by um he 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 did a load of work in the early days with groups like Facebook and Twitter and so on. It's all about um it's all about what um how you, how you get people engaged. And he was talking and and his whole th- he he refers to white hat motivation and black hat motivation. And his kind of rule of thumb is you know about that sort of one in eight. <laughs> you need you, you don't need to if you have too much black hat you're trying to beat people over the stick. And and um and you and and when I was reading, I was realizing you you see it in the classic um, marketing phase. You know, if you if you you see you you see you know um say forty percent on sale now, sale must end Tuesday. If you don't have sale must end Tuesday, because it's been well researched, nobody nobody does anything. It's just mm-hmm. always forty percent off. <laughs> yeah. So you don't need to he- emphasize that it's going to cost you twice as much most of the time you you only want to do that as a small little throwaway line but somehow the contrast <laughs> um actually helps emphasize the positive message which is it is 40 percent off but if i don't act by tuesday then i'll have lost it mm. and so that fear of missing out as they call it is if you like the black motivation is you're going to miss the opportunity if you don't have it at all the motivation doesn't work um you know but if 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 that's the if if that's the main message people react negatively against it and they don't act either so it's uh it's about something of the balance and i think we we kind of get that um i i think scripture gives us that balance let's put it that way <laughs> mm. yeah yeah good any other thoughts or comments no no well, it's nice that everyone turned up again today <laughs> This is good. And uh, we have a, a few more weeks before we get to the summer. Um, although I have a I have my two week summer holiday at the end of May, but um we'll we'll let you know that one as well. And I reckon we should be finishing Matthew around September time. That's my guess. Looking at what we've the chapters we've got left. Um so uh, so thanks for turning up. Unless anyone's got a last comment, we'll say we'll end the time. No. See you then, Steve. <laughs> See you, Mike. See you guys. Bye, Thanks, everyone. Thanks again. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Thank you.